Good morning, afternoon, evening to you, wherever you are in the world. Today we are going to explore some simple shaders and particles that will take our game's visuals to new heights using just a little bit of code. This tutorial builds on our previous videos, so make sure you watch those first to get up to speed. If you are already familiar with Godot basics, you will be able to follow along easily. On the screen, you will see a side-by-side -side comparison of our game with and without these enhancements. The left side displays our progress from the last tutorial, while the right side showcases the upgrades we'll create today. We'll be making two major changes. First, adding a trail behind the bullets using particles. And the second, creating a parallax background effect with a shader. Get ready to level up your game design. Before diving into the implementation details, let's first talk about shaders and the particles. What is a shader? Shader is like digital paint brushes that help you change how things look in your game. They can make water look shiny, grass wave in the wind, or even make objects look like they are made of metal or glass. Particles are like tiny pieces of confetti that you can use to create special effects in your game. Imagine if you want to show fireworks, snow falling, or a magic spell, particles can help you do that. They are like the little stars and sparkles you see in cartoons. There are many different types of particles. Today we are just going to use a image particle. So let's first look at the picture. So this is the image we are going to use. As you can see, we have three rows and four columns. They are just stars. So let's first get into the bullet. So here bullet, we are going to add a particle to it. We are going to add a node from here we are just going to use uh, CPU particles 2D. So as you can see, it's already uh, emitting. So um, we can change this to, uh, we want to add more particles. So we change this to 60 and uh, time, lifetime. This is how long we want to keep this particle on the screen. So I want to just give it uh, uh, make it shorter, just 0.4 seconds. And uh, the randomness, we can change it to anything. So remember, this is about experiment. You can change it to a value that is to your taste. So I will just give it 37. So here, the drawing. Drawing here, we have a texture. This is where we can specify the image. So I will just dr drag the picture and put it here. Uh, let's not worry about how it looks for now. So let's go to the emission type. Emission type here, we are going to use a sphere. And um, for the radius, we are going to use, uh, well, we just use 20 for now. As you can see, this is just too big. We are going to change that next. So we are going to go to scale. Um, we're going to give it 0.1 and see. Okay, we change the X and also, okay, we change the main. We also want to make the, the max to have the same value. Now you can see it started to look like something we might want. 
So here we can change the animation speed and we give one for both min and max and offset we are going to give it the same value. Uh, speed curve that's uh, we can create a curve so we can have better control over the speed. Uh, let's try it. Let's add a point. We drag here. We can add another point. Uh, maybe here. And uh, that should do it. We're just going to try it out. If we don't like it, we can always change it back. Okay. Then we are going to the texture. So texture, uh, sorry, we're going to go to uh, the material. So this is where we actually control the animation. First, let's add a canvas item material. Then we click onto it. So as you can see, we have a particles animations. We enable it. From here, you can see it tell us, us to specify how many images on the uh, horizontal, how many columns we have. So we have, in our case, we have four columns and V3 means how many rows? We have three. And uh, do we want to um, loop this animation? We see yes. Now you see it started looking better. Since we want to make the trail look like a flame, then we are going to change this color, particle color, from blue to something else. Let's change this. Um, so we can go to visibility and modulate, change this color to a red. And from here, let's try something, okay. Yeah, let's go to uh, the self modulate. We go to the raw and change the color here. Okay. There, I think there is uh, also gravity because the bullet can go any direction. We don't want to have gravity here. If we have gravity here, so Y, which has 980, that means it's gonna, gonna always gonna fall down and which doesn't look uh, realistic in our case. So we are just going to change to zero. Let's run the app and see what's the result. Okay, as you can see, we see this uh, flame. Okay, I think we need to change something here. The bullet is too small and also the flame looks like it's on top of the bullet. Let's go to rotator and the script. So we have a radius. So let's change it here. Radius, we give it 20. Default is 10. Now let's run this. Okay, now you see it's, it's bigger. That's one thing we fixed. Let's go to the next thing. So from the visibility tab, we have uh, show behind parent. So when we enable this, this particle will be uh, showing behind the bullet. And also I want to spread I want to change the direction a little bit more. So I can come to the direction and spread here. I can change the value to something else. I might just change to 67. Yeah. So now let's run one more time. So now you can see the trail is behind the bullet. And uh, it's kind of get the result we want. Okay. Uh, let's add a cooldown timer for the rotator so that it will stop shooting uh, for every once in a while. So let's add a timer. 
I will call it cool down timer. Go to node. I'm going to add a, a timeout event. Here, I'm going to introduce a variable called uh, enabled. So here, uh, I only fire when this is true. So here I'm going to do it enable equals not enabled. Okay, so here we can change the value uh, we are going to auto start maybe every three seconds i will stop okay let's try this out as you can see every three seconds it's going to stop okay now as we finish adding the particles uh, I'm going to add a parallax uh, background and this one is pretty simple and I'm just going to use uh, someone else's shader code. We are going to dedicate a few um, tutorials for shaders. It's, pretty, it's a very advanced uh, topics, but for our uh, video, this lesson, I'm just going to find an existing shader and see how we can use someone else's code to make our life easier. So the shader I used for this tutorial comes from GodotShaders.com. The name of the shader is called Fast Star Nest. Um, we just have to click the copy button and we copy this shader code. Then we come back to our project we are going to come to the background which is color rect we are going to introduce the shader here we come to the material tab and create a new shader material then from shader we create a new shader we are just going to call it background shader then click the shader we paste our code here so now let's run the code as you can see we have the background, we have so many stars falling down, and uh, the game looks like uh, very colorful and vivid. So if you have come this far, I really appreciate your time. And if you don't mind and haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section all come join our discord server thank you bye